On this week's Vero Beach Social Media Pop-Up Podcast, we have Laura, Noah, and Tina Robles with the St. Helens Harvest Festival coming this week, November 18th through the 21st at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. Give it a listen. You're going to love it. I guarantee it. Here we go. All right, everybody, we're here at the Jackie Robinson Training Facility where we're going to have our podcast with Tina, Noah, and Laura. And uh, they're on the St. Helens Harvest Festival board, and we're just going to give you a little tour of uh, what the Harvest Festival is going to have. And uh, we're going to get started. So you guys ready? We are. All right, let's go. Let's start walking in. So uh, you guys are with the Harvest Festival board. How long have you been involved with the board? And Laura, I'll let you go first. Okay. Um, Actually, our family uh, started working the Harvest Festival in 1986. Wow. Okay. So that's what, 35 years? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. It was a, uh, we, we wanted our daughter to go to St. Helen school. Okay. And which is right over here. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. (laughs) I got you. Um, and the best way to do that besides being a parishioner of the church and, and working with the church was to become involved with the harvest festival. Okay. So she was free. Okay. <laughs> when we when we started, and um, because we really wanted her to go to St. Helens, and it, it was limited, right? There was sure. a waiting list. So uh, our first couple of years, we came out at 11 p.m. and picked up trash. That's a good way to get started. <laughs> Is what we did, and we were hooked. Okay. We were absolutely hooked after that. So right now we're over by the batting cages. Is anything going to be over this way when we get started? Actually, what we normally have is uh, some handicap parking. Okay. Um, This year, though, I think they're going to be bringing uh, more rides in. Okay. So this right in this area right in here where we are, um, we'll probably have some of the smaller rides for the smaller children. Okay. And then as we go further down, we get into the booths and the food. And then in the back is where we have the big rights. Okay. All right. Well, my favorite is the games. Okay. That's what that's what I come here yes. for. Me and my kids. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, awesome. So all right. Some handicap parking. Some little kids uh, rides here. Right. And again, we are looking at a little different layout than normal because we, of construction. We are. Um, the the Jackie Robinson Training Complex is going undergoing some renovations. So we've had to accommodate our festival so that they can continue to make those repairs. Okay. So as we come up into this area, we start getting into some of the games. Okay. Um, and that's, my, that's my style. That's what I want to play are. the dime games. And, exactly. Yeah. And we start with some of the, the smaller games for the, the smaller kids. And uh, the, the wonderful thing about the games here at the festival is that it is designed, the games are designed for you to win. Gotcha, gotcha. For you to win. I like that. So our motto is, we do our darndest to help you win. Okay, we do our darndest <laughs> to help you win. I like that. I like that tagline. When I was a little kid, I think it was down here, you had the milk bottles. You set the milk bottles yes. up? Yes. I yes. think you set up six. It's three, two, and one. And you throw a ball, and if you knock all the milk bottles down, you win a, a right. small prize. Right. But then if you if you do it again, uh-huh. you can risk that small prize for the big prize. Exactly. It was probably 10 or 11. Right. And I knocked all of them down. And, of course, you know, I've got a, a gambler's instinction, I guess. And and I tried it, and I won it, and I came home with this big stuffed uh, oh. prize. And my mom was like, what in the world? Because, again, it's, you're not supposed <laughs> to win those prizes. Awesome. But yeah. we won it here. No, so that is. Yeah. That is, that is. And actually. And I remember that for 25 years. Yeah, I was going to say. And that, that was baseball. We yeah. still have that game. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's, All right. We still have that game. We know where Ooh. to find you. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. I'm going to be there playing. All right. So we're going to head on this way. So back in the day, this is where you bought tickets, and maybe you still do to get uh, into the events here, but um, usually you have some rides over this yep, way. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. We have, we have usually there is a train. Okay. Um, and the, the neat thing about Degler Attractions, who does our rides, they're the only company we've ever had. Okay, and they're, they're what, Palm City? Uh, Stewart. Stewart, okay. So they're local. Right. So they, they have a tour and they come home. We see them in the grocery store. We we know them. They're like family and neighbors. Love it. You know, Love so it. it's a very safe environment out here, which is absolutely wonderful, yes. especially in these days when we have to be so safe and careful. And um, 
we have a, a gentleman who handles the train and he has been handling the, the children's train ride since we started. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. When he comes on to grounds, we get a big old hug and it's like, it's like a family reunion. Well, it's one of the great things about the Harvest Festival is that it is really wholesome. I mean, I remember talking to you guys saying, you know, people always say, oh, I wish it was back like it was in the 50s. I wish life was back like it was. Mm. Really, when you come here, it's like a time machine. It, it's like you get back there. Definitely, 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 which is why we're so excited this year because of the pandemic that the whole world's been going through. Things have gone on hold. Yeah. Our, yep. our life is kind of stuck yeah and now we're coming out of it a little bit and we've been allowed to come back um we had one at the church last year because we just didn't want it to stop sure, sure. because we're one of the oldest festivals in florida 50, i mean 57 57, 57, 57 years. years yes um <clears throat> and all but 14 the first 14 years were at church ground seven sorry so, seven so. first seven yeah. years were seven at church years. Ground. That's okay sorry. right and so uh, this is the 50th year off 50, of church grounds? Yeah, approximately. Gotcha. Approximately. Well, once you get into the 57s, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's okay if you miss a year or two, I think. So as you can see, you, were, you referred to the construction before. It looks like we've got some uh, yep. surveyors out yep. here. Yep, yep, <laughs> definitely, definitely. And then one of the game booths, which is always right here, is aquarium. Okay. The fish booth. Yep. And you can win a goldfish. Oh, I probably killed half a dozen goldfish <laughs> in my life uh, -uh. winning those games. -uh. Yep. <laughs> and then there's rides here. Uh, I think there's a children's fun house. Um, That's right. I remember the mirror. Yep, the mirror yep. maze. Yep. yep. And then over here we have more games. Um, you usually have basketball over here, and you have the the, the sledgehammer game uh, the, yep, coming around right. here. You yep. got it. Yep. We also yep. have right Ladybug Boutique. Yeah, Ladybug Boutique is right um, in here now. Now things have changed a little bit because they've done some construction, and my my uh, uh, icons, my what do you call them when when you? Ex <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyway, the, the building's gone, so it's kind of hard to decide where, sure. where what was. Yeah, they're doing a ton of work out here. You're right. Yeah. There used to be a concession stand right there. Yeah, right. exactly. It used, to, it used to be the first base concession stands right right there where that big right. blank area is. Right, and then Lady Bug Boutique <laughs> was, was always there. next to it. Okay. And those are women, uh, women and men of the church all year long make handmade items and sell them here okay. at the festival. Gotcha. So, it, and that there's so many of these little groups and things that, that contribute to us that go on all year long. Right. And then we also have Cakewalk, which um, is baked goods and um, things that the school does and people, prisoners bring in. It's all homemade baked goods and stuff. Gotcha. I, I don't know how I've never seen that. <laughs> well, I'm too busy playing the games well, up there. I don't know if I ever make it down there. Actually, actually Cakewalk is kind of set back next okay. to Ladybug Boutique. Gotcha. And gotcha. and so as a as a youngster, it's not something right. that you would notice because you Unless instantly, you really love cake. Yes. <laughs> you instantly look and see the carousel, which is usually right here. Yep. yep. And then we get into the food and um, Philly cheesesteak, uh, fried dough. That I do know. Hamburger heaven, uh, soup, homemade soups, and we have uh, restaurants that donate soups to us. Uh, so, so y if you uh, have a favorite soup, it's usually out here. Gotcha. Um, what else? A pizza. Knights of Columbus do pizza. Gotta love pizza. Yeah. 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 So you guys don't ever use the practice fields over here. Now nope. that they have the clover over here, we're going to get to it in a second. Uh -huh. What's really changed out here due to that clover? Okay. Well, clover field, I should say. I'm a baseball guy. I say okay. clover. That, baseball guys know, fine. but the that's four baseball fine. fields back there. Um, generally, the clover has been off limits. Gotcha. Because everything was maintained right here. Right. But we've lost access to a little bit on the other side of this hedge. Okay. So they have extended us the use of the, what do you call it? Uh, press box. The press box. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> the press box so, for the clover leaf we're right. able so, to use. So that's where the restrooms and things are. Okay. Because the others have been, due to construction, they're, they're sure. not, not being used. Okay. So they were very, very nice here to extend us the use out towards the clover. We I had all the big rides out, out here 
in this grassy area in front of us, but we were not allowed on the other side of the fence. Gotcha. And this year they've opened that up so that we have a building. Fantastic. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah, restrooms. And then we also have two large tents that people can sit and, and have their meal or whatever they With the picnic tables yeah. out right. and all yep. that. Yep. yep, yep. Okay. Where's the uh, parishioners booth going to be this year? It's sponsored by Schlitz Services, right? right. Uh, Patron Saints is going to be down by the gift shop, I think. Okay. Is I should ask while we yep. were up there. Yep. Yeah, that's where that's going to be. <laughs> And uh, anybody out here on the grounds, please stop by and say, you know, hello to the, to the patron saints booth. And also Kelly Cameron Law has uh, come in as a sponsor too, right? That is correct. That awesome. is correct. She's a gold sponsor this year. So how late can sponsors um, get in on this? Well, for the artwork and stuff, uh, they're asking by the 1st of November, but you know what? If someone wants to sponsor us, we're not going to say gotcha. no. <laughs> we're definitely not going to say no. As someone that's been involved with many nonprofits, I I, I live and breathe by that. I will never yes, say no. Never, we'll never say, say no. no. Definitely not. Definitely not. And so let's talk about the armband. So we're getting into where the rides are going to be now, yeah, right? Yeah, the bigger rides, okay. right? So this year it's a little interesting. You can buy an armband for two, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. That's They're correct. The one-day daily uh Unlimited ride armbands. That's correct. But you cannot get a Saturday armband unless On you buy it previous. Pre-sale. Right. right, okay. Right, so, so the students, uh, it's, uh, it's kicking off the first week of November. Okay. And the students will be selling the armbands, and the armbands are $20 okay. from the students. Once you come to grounds, festival grounds, they're 25 Okay. And you can buy armbands from students for all four days. And okay. the students are only selling armbands, no tickets. Gotcha. Just armbands. And they'll sell you a voucher. You bring the voucher to the ticket booth here on the festival grounds, and they give you an armband. Okay. But okay. if you come Saturday if and you, you don't have a voucher, you can only buy tickets. That you can't get an armband. That is exactly That's the correct. truth. All right. Yeah. So, so the only thing on Saturday available on festival grounds are tickets. So if you're coming on Saturday, you got to get those pre-sale tickets. And the pre-sale tickets stop being Armbands. sold on the 17th? Uh, 18th. On the 18th, 18th, on the day of the festival. The okay, the first the day of the festival. festival. Yep, right. is what I'm being told, yes. Great. So so they will be available and out shortly. Okay, so uh, this podcast will probably come out, I think it's coming out on the 12th. So by the time people listen to it, if you're listening to it right now, uh -huh. go get your pre-sale tickets. You got it, and you can you can uh, buy them from any St. Helens student. Uh, they'll also be available um, at the school. Okay, all right, St. Helens school. What do you just walk in the front office and uh, say I want to, you armbands? You go to the office. My understanding from uh, 2019, the last time we had one, they actually had a table out front. Okay. And someone was manning that table because it was just too much. For, for the school to handle in the office. So yes, you go to the church, the school office and there will be someone there. Okay. okay, great. So what's happening back here now? Okay, back here are all of the, um, what I call adult rides. Okay, <laughs> so the one where they spin me real fast yeah, and the then one, I go yeah. way up in the air in yeah, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, okay. the Ferris upside wheel. Down. The... I think we're having the swings, which is always a popular ride. Okay, so. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah spinning around in the swings. That's that's not my style. No, no I'm I'm up there playing a the dime game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We had a funny story about the swings one year. Uh, there used to be a golf course that was an active golf course over here, and before the clover was here, so we had the swings positioned out there. So whenever they wanted to start the swings going, they had to make sure nobody was going to tee off. <laughs> so so we had some spotters. One would would signal, okay, go ahead, you start the ride. <laughs> That so, is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, and we, we make it all work. I right. mean, no matter no matter what's asked of us, we we are bendable. We are we are we're, we accommodate uh, the the facility here is so wonderful to us that whatever they're needing or not needing, we we are we are perfect. That's why this year things are a little uh, different. Um, but it, it's all good. Yeah. 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 Well, big shout out to the Jackie Robinson training facility for uh, training complex for, for, you know, every, even letting us shoot this here. I yeah. mean, this is amazing. Right. This is yes. great. And, yeah. you know, helping you guys out with the Harvest Festival, which you guys have been here how many years now? 30, uh, 30 something. 30 well, the festival something. itself has been here 50, 57. This 57. is our 57th year, but you and I have been involved. 30 something. Yeah. 35 or 36. Yeah. 35, and then, yeah, 36, it's been here yeah. for a very, very long and time. And Christina so. from birth. 
right? <laughs> festival baby. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's what she was called. That's what they were all called. Yeah, festival, festival babies. babies. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So is there anything back here? There's a, a yep. wall back all here the, and some all, green space. All the way, all the way to the back. Um, Degler has their trailers and stuff set up back there and their semis are parked back there. And all this right here, all the way to back there, including I think over here, there were some, some rides. Okay. So this is, I mean, uh, I think there's over 25 rides. Yeah, yeah. and they, they are bringing in more rides than usual this year, they were telling us. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Even better. Yes. It'll be really interesting to see how they set up with all the new landscape and stuff uh -huh. here because it always just used to be grass. Yeah. 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 Well, we've got some palm trees in the way, but uh, it's even more of a reason for everybody to come out November 18th yep. to the 21st. Right. Right. Uh, to check out the Harvest Festival. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So is there anything you guys want to add to this? Because I think we've gotten oh. through the front all the way to the end. We've talked right. about your history with it, the yep. history of the Harvest Festival, uh -huh. um, the games, the rides, the food. Cakewalk, which I didn't know about. I'm going to yep. be at this year. Yep. Um, so it's no Thursday, November 18th from 5 to 9? From my my understanding is 5 to 10. 5 to 10 on Thursday the 18th. Right. Uh -huh. Then um, okay. Friday. 5 to 11. Friday the tr 19th, 5 uh -huh. to 11. Saturday is the big day. Right. And 20th. that's from noon to 11. And then Sunday is our no end. Noon to 6. And then by 930, we're flat. Gotcha. All, we are all not, the booths are flat and ready to go into the Yeah, they trailers. are not put away. It takes, it takes us two weeks to set up, and it takes us four days <laughs> to put away. Put it all away. <laughs> so Trisha Fox will kick me in the neck if I don't ask you guys this. Okay. How do you get volunteers? Okay. Well, we have um, Sign Up Genius uh, through the church and the school. Okay. And there is, she has set up an absolute wonderful, wonderful website. So if you go on to the church, you'll see the Harvest Festival emblem. You click, click on there and you can pick your category. You can pick your game. You can pick your food. And then when you open that up, it has all the time slots. You pick those slots and boom, you're done. You're in and and all you have to do is show up. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Trisha has really outdone herself this year. She has done an amazing, amazing job. Well, that's now, wonderful. Hopefully, now, now, now the festival is just part of it. There's a lot of people, volunteers that come out and help set up, and that, that's what they want to do. You know, that, that's their thing. Gotcha. So it, it's not just it's pre-festival. People have fun doing too. And you said you take two weeks to set up. So when do you actually start set up? November fourth. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. That's Fifth. a Thursday. Okay. F okay. S That's sixth. Probably Sunday, right? Yes, yeah, Sunday the sixth. Is the seventh. Sunday seventh. the seventh. All right. Seven so you start. Seven. You start yeah. setting up Sunday, November seventh. Right. So you need three, volunteers for yes, that. Yes. At three o'clock. Um, just bring a pair of gloves. Okay. <laughs> um, and we have three semi trailers. Okay. That build that that everything that the festival needs is in those semis. And so we start unloading the semis. You don't have to uh, be really strong because many hands make light work. That's right. Uh, we, we pretty much just pass things along. Um, and then we have the forklift and things start laying out. And that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is the school day. Okay. And on Saturday is when all of the, the students... I mean, they're welcome out any time sure, sure, to work, but, that's the, but that's the organized day uh, is Saturday. And um, we have lots of stuff that needs to be done then. We're tweaking the booths. They're all up. It's a little bit lighter work, um, but, but it takes about 2,000 volunteers to pull off the festival. That's incredible. I mean, we've got, we've got 25 board members and 2,000 volunteers. 25 board members cannot make the no. festival happen. It takes the 2,000 people giving their four hours, giving their eight hours, giving their 10 hours, um, you know, baking goods at home and bringing them in for a cakewalk, uh, coming and uh, just, just helping with signage, with meals, with, with their, there's, there's just, it's, it's unlimited what, what people can do. Well, I want to thank the 2,000 volunteers, the 25 board members, the three of you, Laura, Noah, and Tina, for coming out for this podcast. Um, this is the most wholesome, traditional thing that I think Vero Beach still has. 
And uh, without you guys, it just it wouldn't happen. And I love bringing my kids out here. I've got a five month old, so I'm happy to have her start coming out now. Oh, so, uh, yeah. So she, maybe she'll become a festival baby. There you yeah. go. There you so, go. So, uh, so that's gonna do it from us. Unless you guys have anything else you'd like to add, thank you all again. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Jackie Robinson Training Complex, for letting us uh, shoot here and for having the festival here. Okay. So, all right. Thank See you. you at the thank festival. You. See you at the festival. Yeah.